All right, Dad, we are going in Haunted Canyon to go see Tony's cabin. So, it was a trip getting in here, missed the turn in the dark, end up driving some damn primitive roads to other places I'd like to check out, but not in the dark. And I don't know if my Jeep's capable because it started getting rough. But we found this and then unfortunately we're not the first person out here today. This person I'm pretty sure did the same thing we did but wised up sooner than we did. We parked in a camping spot and realized we can just drive there a little closer so we did. So we're trying not to Pump it too fast, because if these people are up there, I don't want to get on their ass. I don't want to be a hypocrite. But, for a change, we get to see everything in the daylight. Which I did want to do for this. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. Until we get around this spin, we're gonna be following a road for the most part. This is a protected area by salt, so we get down there. We're gonna have to tread super lightly because it's technically private property, but they allow they allow people down here. I had to go through a huge mining operation. That all is private land. You just got to stay on the forest road until you get back into Tonto. But we got a little over 11 miles to do. I have a loop that's just over 13. But I don't know if we're going to do that or not. We'll have to see how we feel when we get down to the cabin. But I see headlights. False alarm. So, this canyon is known to have been able to find gold out in the open, more or less, and where this big Pino Pinto Valley mining operation, there was a, a good historical gold area. You could still find it occasionally, but... There's a lot of lore in this ca canyon. There's stories of Indians hanging people upside down with rawhide to slowly cook their brains and skin. And a guy got saved with the rains coming in and putting out the fire and loosening up the rawhide. I guess the Indians saw it as their version of divine intervention so they stopped messing with the man. But... This is a nice area, and we did do a little bit of exploring when we got out here. Not too much because of the dark and the Jeep. This is definitely an area to come back to and camp with the puppies. Oh, here's that creek that I read about. It's dry. Turn off my headlamp. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Okay, we had to stop to take our jackets off. Those damn things are hardcore. You get hot in a hurry. You put this up for me, I forgot to put it up. Thank you. All right, let's get going. Dad's getting bored. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I said, let's get going. Dad's getting bored. <laughs> I don't think he watches these all the way through.
which I'm not expecting people to watch these all the way through. I know Barry likes them and he puts them on for background noise. Oh, for work. He's one of those guys, he's like Ryan. He uh he does the videos too. I do I used to when I was a kid, but I found out that like I spend a decent portion of time staring at it and not doing anything. So that's why I stick to audio. Yeah, I personally well when I was doing like whole health or silver sneezer, I was legit walking shows. <laughs> well that's a little different story. But now that I'm back in the claims, I'm all about my fucking podcasts again. Yeah, because the mu music and podcasts and stuff, that's pretty easy to tune that out when you need to focus. So I can go in and out of it pretty quickly. Right. Which is why I think, I and I've been doing that for so long, I think that's one of the reasons why I combined with, I've seen this type of shit before, it's boring, why I can't, I can't sit down and watch a movie or anything like that anymore. It's like, I got better shit I could do with my time. And if I'm going to sit here for an hour and a half to four hours it's not that i don't want to watch that movie it's just it's like if i'm going to sit here and do nothing but watch a screen i could learn something or get something f f far more things than that movie in that same amount of time you know what i mean yeah or i can watch something like the mining stuff not only is that entertaining but you're learning stuff I don't know if we were supposed to stay up there or what, but whatever. This is a road, too, so. This reminds me of some stuff you'd see in Indiana. Sky reminds me of cotton candy. Yeah, for sure. Like that striped shit you'd get when you'd go to the games and stuff and the amusement parks. You get cotton candy. Cotton candy sky is only in Boston. Yeah, but it's usually got a lot more collars in it. It's not truly that baby pink and baby blue, you know? Okay, this is going to be a lot of the same stuff, so I'm going to turn this off for a little bit. He ate molding, wooden trim molding up in Michigan. We got water. We got some fresh cut here, too.
All right. There's supposed to be a lot of springs around here too. And that cave I was telling you about is a wet cave. So it's probably fed by a spring. Well, that's unlocked. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, those snakes are gonna be more of a concern here than in our neck of the woods. A lot more temperate. I'm kidding. There are problem in Rogers. But uh, Tom even said he wouldn't suggest coming in here past spring because of the heat and water scarce. It's like, well, we're not too far off from Rogers. This is nice. This is worth the drive. Tons of trees here. There's, those look like dogwoods. I know that the Indians would come in here and get acorns and whatnot to eat. Yeah. Yeah, and you just want to take your time going through that mining operation. But what I was about to say, ooh, we got water flow, is um, that mining operation is going to dissuade a lot of people from coming out here. People are going to come out here, are going to be more locals, like Superior and Globe. Because if you think about it, it's over an hour from our house to get to here. And you want to throw another 40 minutes to an hour on top of that just to get to AJ, depending on where you are in Phoenix. Right. And then unless you just got the vehicle that you know is capable, or you got good skills and you've been out here, you're probably not going to fuck with it. Bunch of pumping substations around here because of the miners and whatnot. And I know that the water, because of the damming we've been doing and all of that crap, um, the water table sucks for the superstition. So it's not as, there's not as much water as there used to be. That's too bad. That's from an underground well or spring. The uh, solenoids leaking. And the valve is busted too. They need to get out here and fix that. That's a decent leak. I'm sure they got people who make rounds. That type of thing. I don't know if their sensors, if they've got sensors, is going to detect that. Huh? Oh yeah, they're all over the place.
It's almost sickening when you read about these areas. That's a lot of water. And uh, how it was real rough to get in, in here even after people had been in here, you know? Mm -hmm. Like Tom, he said when he got here, that cabin was abandoned and obviously, but they chose not to stay in it because of fear of like scorpions and other critters and whatnot. What is going on here? That Let's see here. That's loose. Go that way. Looks like you can go up. Yeah. I see it now. But I don't think we have to do that necessarily. Yeah, we probably should. No, I'm not doing that. We'll slide. done just take your time yeah but you guys back home wouldn't think you'd see stuff like this in the Saronan desert we got out here it was in the 30s by the way we got a high of 61 in the area for the day. At least globe does because we're in higher elevation. I'm not gonna lie, these substations are pumping. A little disheartening to see. And if you haven't seen, we are following a big water pipe. So. I'm wondering if that person that's at the trailhead is either hiking, like we are, or is out here checking stuff. Because I didn't expect to see a bunch of pumping stations. Well, I'm going to go over here and then hit that sign. Because this looks like this is part of an old corral. Yep. It's 
holder is messed up too. So I I saw that. And this is actually the way I think we're supposed to go. What did that sign say? Yeah, that's the way we're supposed to go, I'm pretty sure. Just not through this corral because it's blocked off back here. Oh. How old is this barbed wire? Oh, that's new. I don't know about going back. I don't know. 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 It says it's that way. I'm going to go see this sign, though. This way, get all of it. I think that's a hiker sign. That could just be a little work around, too. Figure out where to go. I don't know if this is a detour or what, but we're not really where we're supposed to be according to the map. I should be down there. I don't want you down in there for a flash flood. It's probably what's going on there. That, those areas just get a little nasty. I'm finding out.
Okay, yeah, we're about to hop right back on it. Looks like that's where it was. Yeah, there's the old part of the trail. That was a detour. Here's the old part of the trail. Probably too nasty to go through all that crap. some sort of squirrel or something. in this area a lot. fence is old you can see where it's been mended throughout the years I think we're going to have a lot of the same stuff. I'm going to turn this off for a while. Here we go. Climbing up the hill. It's pretty damn steep. I think that's that one spot where we knew it was going to be rough.
slow going right now. Well, these glasses keep fogging up on her, so she can't wear them, so I have to take her time. We should be able to get a little bit of these rocks here in a second. There are rocks in here, so be careful. They're all hidden. And a bunch of cactus. Need that sun to come in this canyon and take this condensation and chill off. Hopefully we can move better. Oh, she's taking pictures. And she's got her glasses back on good. I would not want to be out here without glasses or contacts. It's especially me, I'm blind, blind.
there. Could be Halloween too, I don't know what that looks like. And it wasn't piled quite like it should be for bear either. I think it's a lot of geo style. I think it's all calcite and calcium. That looks like tailings. <laughs> Bring it up the rear. Does that look like tailings? Like tailings. Waste rock thrown off from the top. Could just be a rock slide too, but I don't know. Looks like there's a little lip right there. It looks like something. The more you get over here, that's for damn sure. That's a good drop now.
I'm gonna turn this off for a little bit. Okay, we're down in the bottom of the canyon now. I'm just waiting for Louie to come down the bend. It'll be a lot easier now that we're done with that section, which I think that's the hardest part. Getting some good rock formations again. This battery. Two seconds. Here. If it was tailings or what, I'll tell you what. If I do find it, I'm not gonna reveal it. We should be able to cover some ground pretty good now that we're back on flat ground and in the bottom. Right. Well, your glasses are fogging up and I want to take our time. I'm trying to teach myself that again. And well, I'll be honest with you, the last two times we've come out, you've damn near clacked your ankle because of those fucking rocks. So I've just kind of decided I'm going to take my time in areas like that. Oh great, a big fuck off arrow. They've got ribbons, carns, and arrows. That's a bit much. Well, I wonder if a few people's got lost in here. Because that does seem a little... So my thing is, this guy has been back here, right? He ever built this cabin. This was truly wilderness. Like, 
he had to take the majority of the line here in the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't know if that's like private land now because of mining. I don't know. That, of course, it's a water source, so who knows? But I noticed that fence died off a little while back. So I don't know, or maybe it's just to keep cattle out of there and people so it doesn't mess up the water table. This reminds me of Rogers. All right, turn this off for a bit, even though I'm going to eat my words. But this is not too much to see right now. I'm eating my words, guys. It's not as thick as what we just went through, but this is some dense brush. All right, the canyon is narrowing significantly, which tells me we're getting close. <sighs> nope, it's my favorite season too. Yeah. You don't lose, your trees don't lose the leaves till like January. <laughs> what the hell, man? It's like everyone's all like, you're seeing the Christmas commercials and shit and you're like, I'm sitting on my couch with the front door open and the fan on and sweating my balls off. What are you talking about the fat man and gifts for? Right, I'll tell you what, I have noticed. One, I'm guilty of this. People back home, we tend to tell time by the seasons, you know? Yeah. And here, people are more by the calendar. And it's like, well, the weather doesn't really change too much. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's here, and then boom, it's gone. There's supposed to be a lot of caves and whatnot through here. Got some more water.
Oh, I got a belch and it won't come out. How much farther do we have? We gotta be about a mile out from this damn thing. Uh, maybe. Maybe a little bit longer than a mile. This dude is far back here. Tell you what, you wouldn't have to worry about too many people coming back here. You taking the time to come back here and live. It's water. I'm always happy to see that. I guess we go this way. I'm getting hungry. I'm trying to make it to the cabin before we stop for food. I don't know if that's gonna happen.
what did we have here? This is cool. Follow the river. The wash. I think it's over there. What? There's a trail to my left I'm trying to get up to. Look at your map. I'm on a trail over here, honey. I'm pretty sure this is it. <clears throat> All right, I gotta turn this off and get her squared away. Oh, that is not stable ground. It's fucking hollow. Here's a campsite. It's a pretty good one too. You could hammock camp here. There's plenty of trees. Yep. Huh. I'm gonna drop a pin. That's good to know. That's super solid. How do I do this again? Save. Darn. Okay, got that saved. I'm trying to get there before I need at the cabin. That's what I'm trying to do. Outside that one little spot, this hasn't been a bad hike at all. No, it hasn't. I feel like it's taking a lot longer than it's supposed to. Yeah, it's because you went in with preconceived notions. All right. This canyon's getting really narrow now. And some cool rocks. <clears throat> we should be there in about 20 minutes or so.
Looky, looky what I found. Nice little predator hole. Just hanging out spraying assholes in the face that go on the trail. Yep. What was it you said you read like three or seven different types of skunks out here? Yeah, there's five different types of skunks. Is it five? They can all spray up to five at one time. And they can all spray up to ten And the bad ones are the desert. So we ran into a hiker. He says there's two guys ahead of us. It must be the guys in the vehicle. They got here right before us. I'm hoping they're just going there and back so we can have it for ourselves for a little bit. We are so close. I know we gotta be close. Looks like we're coming up on some stuff. Got some water here. Let Libby catch up. Huh. Filled in.
careful. Really be careful. See this. I don't know if this is the right way or not. Not really anywhere else to go. Yep, sure is. Oh, now this is cool. Damn fucking boulders almost the size of a house. I don't know if this is right. I don't know where else to go. Maybe to the left. Whoop, well, we are close because they're hitting the private property section. And this battery's about to die here soon. Be real careful between my battery and I'm assuming we're going to be coming up on those guys here soon unless they're doing a loop
which if I understand the private property portion of it is it's owned by the state or some organization that is funded. So therefore, isn't that an extension of the public works? So how can it be private if it's owned by the public because the public owns the fucking government? Alright, there's some trails. We gotta figure this out. It might be back that way. Yeah, we we're just gonna walk around a little bit, see if we can find it. Yeah, this is all private though, you can't camp in here. My camera was fucking up right when I was trying to record and I jumped his ass. Gotta be quicker. Oh, if I was in a deer stand, he'd be mocking me. Okay, we got hikers with us. They couldn't find it and we caught up with them. They seem to be okay. So we've been hunting this damn thing. I got ahead of them. Let me get some of this before they come in. Tony's Ranch. Here we go. Hmm. That's going to pop open and break. Squirrel. I wouldn't touch that front door. It looks like it's about to come down. It's wedged. See pretty good in over here. All right. Yeah, no problem, guys. Hey Libby, come in here and sign this. You gotta go to the bathroom? What? You gotta go to the bathroom or are you just wanting ourselves? No, I just wanted to change my shirt. Oh, okay. I was gonna say those guys were pretty cool. There you go. Looks like there's some write-ups on this stuff. I'm not putting money in this because somebody's just going to take it. Hmm. This is a write-up on it that's seen better days. Yeah, they got information on the gentleman too. 
I want to know if these symbols are the old hobo symbols or not. I think I remember reading about this gentleman before. Definitely solitude. This was really cool. Get around this one more time. If this tree could talk. Now, the way that scene looks, it looks like that might have been an addition. Who knows? I think that's going to be it. I'm going to get a few photos, take a leak, and I think we're going to get out of here. A little bit more detail, and then I'm done filming. All right, a little bit more detail, because I have been looking and found pieces of the cast iron stove. It's all over this place. It's not nearly as heavy as you would have thought, surprisingly. I don't know if it blew up or if just aged and someone destroyed it, but here is one of the dampeners. This looks like the door with a flue on the top. Here's one of your ring top ranges. I love old stuff like this. We're about to pack out here in a second. <coughs> the more I look, the more there's some cool stuff around here. And trash. Yeah, this thing, pretty thin wall. It's about three, four millimeters thick. Maybe an eight, which is between three and four. There's an old plow. Man, this place can talk. Okay. One of them.